Hey everybody, I just wanted to try out a new segment that I'm going to be calling the Home Automation Quickie. And that's just going to be a collection of five minute or less uh, videos which go over either a specific automation or a specific component of the home automation system in a really short, digestible way. Um, today I'm going to be focusing on a bedroom TV sleep timer, or I really actually a sleep timer for any type of media player. Um, like I said, it's really simple, um, but it's been super, super useful for especially in my in my case. Um, so let's get started with that. Um, I start the automation uh, actually via a MQTT call that's coming in from my Google Home uh, on IFTTT, but however you want to start this automation is kind of irrelevant. You can use, um, you can use like I said, you can use a Google Home, you can use Alexa, you can use a, you know, a button on your phone or a web service call or however you want to start this automation. The next part though is more relevant. Um, I guess I should preface by saying that there are some prerequisites to actually having this automation go live in your house. Uh, number one, you need to have a TV or media player that is capable of having its state checked by Home Assistant or by Node-RED um, so that you can tell if it's actually playing content or not. And you can do this if you maybe if you use Plex as your main media player, uh, you can do it via that. Um, or you can, if you can query, if you use a Chromecast or a Roku, you can always query those and find out. Uh, the only, really the only um, things that's not might not work for is your standard, you know, if you're watching a DVD or watching cable. Um, I don't know if cable or any DVD players exposed they're currently playing state. So it might be more difficult if you've got one of those. But chances are if you're using a internet connected or smart device or Plex, it should be no problem to determine state. The other prerequisite that you need for this automation is you need to be able to control the power to your TV. Now, I know Chromecast is capable of turning TVs on and off. Um, but the easiest way is probably a smart plug, um, unless you if, unless you have another way of doing it. A smart plug is a is a great way to you know control power to a single device. So anyway, after the automation is set, so when I'm laying in bed and I feel like okay, I'm watching the last show of the night, I want the TV to turn off if I fall asleep during this show. Uh, I'll say to my Google Home, Hey Google, uh, set the sleep timer for bedroom TV. And what that's going to do is that's going to kick off a flow where it calls out to Home Assistant. And it asks if that specific Chromecast that's hooked up to my bedroom TV is playing or not playing. And if it is still playing the content, it will loop through a one minute timer and re-query every single minute to see, okay, is this still playing? Is that show still on? And it'll continue to do that until the show ends. Once the show ends, the Chromecast state will go to idle and we'll call Home Assistant again and we will turn off uh, the smart switch associated with the bedroom TV. And that's all that's basically all there is to it there's a, it's a very simple automation it's uh, it's actually the main logic is looping through this uh, change node so it's either playing or not playing and sorry I said change node I meant switch node it's either playing or not playing and as soon as it finishes playing the content within a minute it's gonna turn the TV off and that means you're not gonna be getting up at 3 to you know turn off your TV you're not gonna get woken up by the light from your TV and you're not gonna be wasting electricity which is always good so like I said very simple automation um, let me know if you like this format, this quickie format. Um, it's a good way for me uh, to, you know, run through some of the automations that I use in my house and uh, maybe start a, a dialogue for maybe if you've got a better way of doing this or if you see a different approach that might work nicer. It'd be, it'd be great to talk to you guys about that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll put some more of these out throughout the, the week and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.